Oldest stars, you won't believe are still alive in 2024. In the vast canvas of the scientific world, where researchers tirelessly seek the key to unlocking the door to immortality, some individuals have discovered a truth without needing a profound concern for lifespan. It is the desire to see our favorite stars, those who create the art, music, and films we adore, continue to shine in the cultural and entertainment sky. In this context, a video has captivated audiences by revealing the top 20 oldest stars still alive, a deeply impressive tribute to celebrities who have surpassed all limits of age and creativity. Together with the famous people, let's begin. Number 20. Clint Eastwood At number 20 is Clint Eastwood, a living legend of Hollywood, born on May 31st, 1930 in San Francisco, California. Eastwood has become a cinematic icon as an actor and director, his career spanning six decades of glory. Starting his career as Rowdy Yachty's in the TV series Rowhide, Eastwood quickly became an international name through Sergio Leone's Dollars Trilogy. With tough and powerful roles like in Dirty Harry, Unforgiven, and Million Dollar Baby, Eastwood has etched his image into the hearts of audiences worldwide. Not just in front of the camera, he is also a talented filmmaker, proving his talent and dedication to cinema by directing and producing many works, with Cry Mako being his most recent directorial project released in 2012. Number 19. Harry Belafonte Harry Belafonte is an icon not just in music but also in social activism, born in New York on March 1, 1927. An entertainer with Jamaican roots, Belafonte was once a sailor on banana boats before stepping into the arts and becoming an indispensable part of American pop culture. His career exploded with the album Calypso, paving the way for a series of hits and leading him into acting. But Belafonte is not just an entertainer. He is also an active civil rights activist, using his voice and talent to fight for racial harmony and equality. The life and career of Belafonte are an inspiration to many generations, proving that art and social commitment can go hand in hand, creating significant societal change. Number 18. Lisa Lu Yan At number 18, we introduce you to Lisa Lu Yan, a versatile talent with exceptional singing and acting abilities, born in Beijing, China. She was born on January 19, 1927. From her early days, Lu Yan dedicated her heart and soul to Chinese opera, laying the foundation for a colorful artistic career. Opening the door to Hollywood, she became one of the pioneering Chinese actresses in the U.S., participating in many famous TV series such as The Big Valet and The Man from UNC Lee. Lu Yen's career flourished in the 70s, with three Golden Horse Awards for Best Leading Actress, affirming her status not only in Chinese cinema but also on the international stage. Though she was married and later separated, her personal life has always been a topic of interest. At the age of 91, she appeared in Crazy Rich Asians, a standout romantic comedy film showcasing her relentless creativity and passion for cinema. Number 17. Barbara Rush Barbara Rush, born on January 4, 1927 in Denver, Colorado, had a memorable time at the University of California, where she graduated in 1948 and began her acting career in 1950, after officially becoming part of the Paramount Pictures family. With roles in Goldbergs and a series of other roles, she quickly made a big impact in the industry when It Came From Outer Space was released in 1954. For this role, she was honored with the Golden Globe Award for Most Promising Newcomer, marking an explosive turning point in her career. She not only made her mark in film, but also on stage and in production, winning the Sarah Siddons Award in 1970 for her outstanding performance at the Chicago Theater in 40 Carats, marking a particularly bright chapter in her career. Even beyond 2007, Barbara Rush continued to grace the stage, this time at the Guild Theater in Orange County. Her personal life was also rich and varied, with three marriages and two children from her first two marriages. 
reflecting a colorful and multifaceted journey. Number 16. Mel Brooks On the map of Hollywood, filled with bright names, there's one star whose light never dims in the memory of fans, Mel Brooks. Born on June 28, 1926, in the heart of New York, Brooks has had an impressive career journey spanning 75 years, during which he has been not only an actor but also a master comedy director. Works like Spaceballs, Robin Hood, Men in Tights, and Blazing Saddles have proven his talent and limitless creativity. His love for the entertainment industry urged Brooks to join the entertainment field at an early age, starting his career as a comedian when he was just 16 years old. After World War II, serving in the United States Army, he organized performances for both American and captured German troops, expanding his performance experience. Returning home, he continued as an entertainer, eventually making his mark in television from 1950 to 1954, and then as a film director with a series of successful works. Brooks is one of the few individuals to have won Emmy, Grammy, and Tony Awards, an indelible icon of the entertainment industry. Number 15. Dick Van Dyke Continuing the list, at position number 15, we meet Dick Van Dyke, another icon of Hollywood, born on December 13, 1925, in West Plains, Missouri. With a career spanning over 75 years, much like Mel Brooks, Van Dyke has left an indelible mark in the hearts of fans over the decades. Serving in the United States Air Force as a broadcaster, he began his entertainment career after being discharged. From radio DJ to Broadway star, his breakthrough role in Bye Bye Birdie earned him major awards, paving the way for a dazzling career in television and film with movies like Mary Poppins, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, and more. Despite his advanced age, Van Dyke continues to work with incredible dynamism, affirming his status in the industry by winning five primetime Emmys, a Tony, and a Grammy. He was also honored with the 2013 SAG Life Achievement Award, a fitting recognition for his impressive career. Number 14. Lee Grant Next, we meet Lee Grant, a multi-talented icon of Hollywood, both an actress and documentary filmmaker, as well as an active activist. Born on October 31, 1925 in New York, Grant began conquering the stage from a young age, with her first performance at the Metropolitan Opera in 1931. Her passion for the arts drove her to pursue ballet in her teenage years and later a professional acting career on stage. Her breakthrough role in Oklahoma in 1951 paved the way for a glittering career, marked by an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actress. However, the shadow of being blacklisted in Hollywood in 1952 temporarily interrupted her promising career, a personal and professional tragedy tied to her marriage and personal relationships. After 12 years of waiting, Lee Grant came back stronger with roles in Valley of the Dolls and In the Heat of the Night, and eventually won the Best Documentary Oscar in 1986, affirming her talent and resilience. Number 13. June Lockhart June Lockhart, at position number 13, is a story of inherited talent and passion. Born into a deeply artistic family in New York on June 25, 1925, Lockhart naturally immersed herself in the world of acting from a young age. Her acting career began in 1938, and before long, she became an indispensable part of American popular culture. Lockhart is beloved for her roles as Ruth Martin in the series Lassie and Dr. Maureen Robinson in Lost in Space, two roles that defined her career and left a deep imprint on the hearts of fans. She also made her mark with supporting roles in Sergeant York, All This and Heaven Too, and Meet Me in St. Louis. With two Emmys and a Tony to her name, June Lockhart is not just a cinematic icon, but also a testament to talent and perseverance in the arts. Number 12. Eva Marie Saint Eva Marie Saint is a talented actress and producer, born on July 4, 1924, in Newark, New Jersey. She began her career at a young age, 
and became famous for her role in Elia Kazan's On the Waterfront, a performance that earned her the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. She has also appeared in many other famous films such as North by Northwest, Grand Prix, and Winter's Tale. Saint has been active in her acting career spanning 70 years, especially during the 1960s, and was married to Jeffrey Hayden, a director and producer from 1951 until his death in 2016. Number 11. Bob Barker Bob Barker is a retired American television icon born on December 12, 1923 in Darrington, Washington. He is best known for hosting The Price is Right on CBS from 1972 to 2007, making it the longest-running daytime game show in North America. Before becoming famous, Barker had part-time work experience at a radio station during college and later moved to California to pursue a career as a broadcaster. He also hosted beauty contests, such as Miss USA and Miss Universe. Although retired, Barker continues to engage in public activities, becoming an animal rights activist after losing his wife in 1981 and facing several health and legal challenges. Number 10. Mike Nussbaum Mike Nussbaum, at position number 10, is a veteran actor and director, born on December 29, 1923, in Chicago. After serving in World War II, he returned to Chicago, where he built his career and family. He married Julie Brudlos in 2004, after his first wife, Annette Brenner, passed away in 2003. Nussbaum had three children with his first wife, and before entering the entertainment industry, was the message center director for General Dwight D. Eisenhower. Nussbaum also co-owned a pest control company for 20 years. His acting career includes collaborations with David Mamet and appearances in famous films such as Men in Black, Field of Dreams, House of Games, and Fatal Attraction. He has also appeared in local television commercials and received numerous awards from 1977 to 2015, establishing his status as one of Chicago's leading stage actors. You're watching the video on the channel, The Famous People. Don't forget to subscribe to support the team. Number 9. Ray Anthony. Let's explore Ray Anthony, a famous musician and big band leader born in Bentleyville, Pennsylvania, on January 20, 1922. His family moved to Cleveland soon after, where he spent most of his childhood and was taught to play the trumpet by his father. Anthony quickly became a part of the band scene from 1940 to 1941, and later formed his own big band, sharing the stage with big names like Harry James, Les Brown, and Buddy Rich. His band replaced the summer season for CBS's Perry Como television show, securing his place on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Although Anthony's brief acting career ended in 1961, he is still regarded as one of the most modern big band leaders, with a stylistic shift from original music to blues and lounge music. Number 8. Jacqueline White Jacqueline White is a former American actress born in Beverly Hills on November 23, 1922. She had a brief but impressive acting career in Hollywood from the 40s to the early 50s, working under contract with MGM and RKO Studios. White is best known for her roles in Crossfire and The Narrow Margin, considered great classic films. She retired after getting married and moving to Wyoming but her life and career continued to attract attention when she returned to Los Angeles to give birth to her first child. After her husband passed away in 2000, she moved to Houston, Texas, where she lives with her family and still attends film conventions as an honorary guest. Number 7. Janice Page Janice Page, at position number 7, is a talented singer and actress born on September 16, 1922. She started singing at the age of five and moved to Los Angeles after graduating high school, where she began her career as a model and singer. Her work in Hollywood paved the way for her to sign a film contract with Warner Brothers. Although her association with Warner was not long-lasting, Paige transitioned to live theater, 
and appeared in many Broadway plays. Her career has seen a transition between acting on stage and in films. Janice Page has been married three times, with her first marriage ending in 1951 and her last marriage to Ray Gilbert lasting until his death in 1976. Number 6. Margia Dean Margia Dean, a former Miss America beauty queen and screen goddess, was born on April 7, 1922, in Chicago, Illinois. She had a successful acting career from the 40s to the 60s, starting her acting career at age 7 and appearing in many children's films. She also won the National Shakespeare Prize for Women for her role as Juliet in Romeo and Juliet. Dean was crowned Miss San Francisco and Miss California, finishing fifth in the Miss America contest. Her film career began with Casanova in Burlesque, under the stage name Margia Dean. Although she never signed a long-term contract with any studio, she became a famous actress through her works with Lippert, earning the title Queen of Lippert, and participated in Hammer Horror Films. After marrying her second husband in 1965, Dean retired from acting. Number 5. Walter Mirisch Walter Mirisch, at position number 5, is a film industry legend. Born in New York on November 8, 1921. Following the departure of Olivia de Havilland, Mirisch became the oldest living Oscar winner in the world. He was a pioneering film producer, founding the Mirisch Corporation with his brothers Harold and Marvin. Under Mirisch's leadership, the company produced many successful films, attracting collaborations with famous directors such as Norman Jewison, Robert Wise, John Sturges, and Billy Welder. Before entering the film industry, Mirisk served as a bomber pilot in World War II, sharing crucial technical knowledge and contributing to the war effort. Number 4. Iris Apfel Iris Apfel, an unmistakable fashion icon with bold and unique style, easily recognized by her standout accessories and signature round glasses. Born in New York on August 29, 1921, Apfel was drawn to the fashion world early on, a passion nurtured from her mother's small boutique. Together with her husband, Carl, Iris founded a fashion company, supplying unique merchandise to the White House during several presidencies. Though she retired in 1992, her career continued to flourish, signing with a modeling agency and attracting over 2 million followers on Instagram, proving her ageless appeal in the fashion and pop culture realms. Number 3. June Spencer June Spencer is famed for her role as Peggy Woolley in BBC Radio's The Archers, a role that has lasted for over 70 years. Born in Nottingham, England on June 14, 1919, Spencer's career has been marked by an unending passion and talent. She left high school to pursue her passion for acting and was later accepted into the Guildhall School of Music and Drama. Her contribution to broadcasting has been widely recognized, receiving an honorary degree from the University of Nottingham and a Lifetime Achievement Award at the BBC Radio Drama Awards. Number 2. Karen Marsh Karen Marsh, at position number 2, is a versatile American artist, born on April 6, 1919, in Hollywood, California. She is a singer, actress, and professional dancer, famous for being Judy Garland's dance double in The Wizard of Oz. Despite her parents' initial lack of support for her acting dream, Marsh pursued her passion and landed significant roles in her career. She also appeared in several other films and from 1947 shifted her career focus to dancing. She miraculously survived a severe plane crash in 1949 and continued to witness the growth of her career following the incident. Number 1. Elizabeth Waldo Elizabeth Waldo, the number one position on this list, is an immensely talented woman, a blend of actress, composer, and conductor, born on June 18, 1918, in Washington, USA. From her first steps on her family's stage at age three to mastering the violin by age five, 
Waldo has shown a deep passion for music. The influence of American indigenous music from her childhood laid the foundation for her life and career, leading her to solo tours across Latin America and eventually settling in Mexico City in 1987. Waldo has left her mark not only through performances, but also by establishing the Mission Theater, a space dedicated to multicultural arts and music. Now, they see themselves younger than everyone else, even doing more than they have done. Do you follow any of the stars on this list, or do you have a favorite? Since you've watched our video, there might be some inaccuracies in the information, so please leave us feedback in the comments section so we can improve our videos, and we appreciate that. And we are the famous people. Don't forget to subscribe to support the team. See you next time.